here on my back porch with a beautiful breeze coming in. It is beautiful. It's unbelievable. You said September 1st. Happy birthday, Cousin Ann. Yes, in Texas, so thank yes. you. Um, we are kind of looking at the end of summer, but yet we still have an awful lot of vegetables and bounty coming on. But today uh, we are going to do kind of a simple, refreshing cucumber dip which is good for any time of the year. We should make that note. It doesn't have to be in the, this time of year. No, but the cucumbers, cucumbers are, extra, are good now. extra good now. And tell us where we got this recipe. Well, from. this recipe comes from my very good friend, our very good friend, Ruth Cunningham, Ruthie's Cucumber Dip. And it's always been a favorite. What She was is still a fabulous cook, but uh, this one was always great when she pulled this one out with just some simple potato chips. Some people would, I guess, use this maybe as a tzatziki sauce, like on a hero oh, or yes. whatever. Or put it on a baguette, toasted baguette. Right, put exactly. Put a little tomato or, or a bagel, whatever. Or um, dill on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So why don't we go to the kitchen and put our little our cucumber dip together. together. Well, here we are in Suzanne's kitchen and we're going to whip up Ruth's cucumber dip. Yes, Ruthie's cucumber dip. Now we're starting with a, a bar of our softened eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. And I've grated, uh, I think it called for six grates of onion in on top of it. Now we're going to add cucumber. And I've grated the cucumber, peeled it and grated it up to the seeds, or you could go ahead and seed it. I've grated it up to the seeds Put it on a paper towel for a while and let it kind of uh, um, weep. So let's add this. Um, a little bit of garlic and then and a little bit of salt. And now I'm going to step over and, um, or Betty's going to step over and I'll beat it with the mixer. walks in the door. I'm Sue. I'm Betty. We're, We're the, the Smith, Smith sisters. sisters. 